we are going to Argentina. No, Vector. Italy, I said. Oh, sorry. We are going to Roma to see the tower. No, not Roma. Pisa. Sorry again, Van. Guys, we are going to Pisa to see the Eiffel Tower. No, no, Vector. Not the Eiffel Tower. The Pisa Tower, buddy. The Eiffel Tower is in Paris. Not pizza. Vector, I put the pizza tower beside you so that you could remember your script. But hey, you might be a good bartender or a chemist, but uh, you are an awful travel agent. Sorry, would you like a drink? I don't want to drink, buddy. I want to talk about the pizza tower. You know what? Just go on the side here and stay there because you're not very useful right now. Yeah, access uh, geography websites and learn about your geography. So guys, I printed the Pisa Tower. Not only one, but look at that. I have a second one over here. So not only two. I have a third one over here. Look at that. I have a collection of Pisa Tower. And the reason I did that is to talk about scale in this video, in 3D printing. So let me just uh, pause here for a second. I just want to say that this tower in Pisa is almost 1,000 years old. And what you see today when you go and visit, I hope that one day you'll be able to go, what you see is the tower that was built. It was not destroyed and rebuilt many times like a few historical monuments. It was of course uh, renovated somewhat on the outside but it is the actual tower. So construction started in 1173. It's uh, 56 meters high and the tilt angle is 4 degrees but in 1990 it was 5.5. Yes, the tower was about to fall. They closed it to tourism. Uh, a bunch of engineers that a special team and they came up with ideas they removed dirt uh, under the ground at some location they even added lead bricks uh, I have a picture I think to show you here lead bricks on one side to help the tower stay at that angle so now apparently believe it or not the tower is supposed to be stable for the next 200 years so I hope <laughs> I hope they are right in their calculation this time so you can find this model on myminifactory.com. It's part of their Mini World 3D collection. And I printed three dimensions that let me just get my sheet here because this is 200%. Just to show you how small the file is if you, uh, when you download, you are at 100%. This is 200, 250, and 300 and look at I actually I did that on my Ender 3 printer right there and I want to show you the details here and I hopefully I can get a good focus with this uh, camera look at that here look at the the columns the Ender 3 is a good printer and I'm, I'm among the reviewers who have said so since the beginning I've been using mine for almost two years now but it's an excellent printer when you print a model that has a continuous surface like my chest set here I invite you to have a look at that uh, at, at that video if you haven't it's my um, amazing uh, chest set see when it is a continuous surface the ender does a very good job but when you have to stop the filament do what we call a retraction and then push the filament again retract and push this is exactly what's happening here on the columns that motion is not exactly repeatable the same time sometimes you will push a bit more plastic sometimes you'll push a little less so that will give you here as you can see the columns that are not smooth unlike the chest set so I thought you know what I'm going to print a bit uh, longer and I'll give you the print times in a few seconds and look at that here it is better at this scale and I thought you know what it's not still very big so that's why I decided to go to uh, 300% and look at that here 
the columns are better but again they're not totally smooth okay so you have some variation and it's not really the x and y movement on the printer i think it's more the plastic being shoot and retraction and it's not exactly the same quantity of plastic or filament that they shot every time so going back to here uh, the model also is very cool because look at that the designer did the base at an angle so the base is at an angle so that when you print the actual tower you get a nice quality print because this is zero degrees and then you just put it there on the uh, on the base just just like that so in the case of the um, the 200 percent uh, tower it took two hours to print the base and six hours to print the the tower at the parameters I gave below here at 250 percent it took 10 hours to print the tower and three hours to print the base and at 300 percent it took 15 hours to print the tower and four hours to print the base so obviously I'm not going to print those I mean not to print I'm not going to paint those because I didn't want to uh, to do it uh, a lot of columns here even with spray paint it would be uh, difficult so I did not use a white filament I have a bit of yellow left not a lot I, when I finished this thing here the spool was almost empty so um, so I did the yellow and I thought that uh, this is actually I should mention something first this is lake blue it's not your typical light blue or dark blue this is uh, from AMZ 3D so they call it lake blue and this is lavender from also AMZ 3D I think it's the first time I print with lavender lavender I wanted to try it and I think it's a cool it's a very cool color anyway my opinion my daughter likes it a lot so guys the uh, Pisa Tower thank you Vector for the intro but uh, buddy you need to uh, you need to learn more about your geography the Eiffel Tower is not in Italy uh, so guys tell me in the comments below what you think about this model uh, oh I forgot to mention there is no support so very simple very easy to print so thank you guys for watching and see you next time goodbye